Colleagues, uh, I'm going to give you just a moment to get settled. This is a pretty special day for us here in Oregon and in the House of Representatives. So I would like to have special attention paid. Representative Holvey. Clerk will read the resolution. HCR 10, recognizing the 2010 University of Oregon football program. Question now arises upon final reading and adoption of HCR 10A. Representative Holvey. Oh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Colleagues, whereas the 2010 football season for the University University of Oregon Ducks was one of the greatest in the history of this state, and whereas the efforts of the University of Oregon football program have propelled Oregon into the national limelight, and whereas the 2010 football program was the first in school history to achieve a perfect 12-0 regular season, and whereas the University of Oregon has been the outright Pac-10 champion in football for two consecutive seasons, and whereas the University of Oregon was recognized as the nation's top-ranked football team during much of the 2010 season, and whereas on December 4, 2010, the Oregon Ducks beat their in-state rival in the 114th Civil War game to secure their first-ever berth in the BCS National Championship game, and whereas for 2010, Oregon coach Chip Kelly was the Sporting News College Football Coach of the Year, the Associated Press Coach of the, of the Year, the Football Writers Association of America, Eddie Robinson Coach of the Year, the American Football Coaches Association Coach of the, of the Year, and the Walter Camp Football Foundation Coach of the Year. Wow, a lot of Coaches of the Year. And whereas running back LaMichael James became Oregon's first unanimous All-American, won the Doak Walker Award as the nation's top running back and finished third in the Heisman Trophy balloting the best ever by a Duck football player, and whereas Cliff Harris was also named an All-American as a punt returner, and whereas the efforts, conduct, and exemplary play brought pride to all Oregonians, and whereas the Ducks were the first team from Oregon to play for a national championship in football, now, therefore, be it resolved by the Legislative Assembly of the State of Oregon that we, the members of the 76th Legislative Assembly of the State of Oregon, on behalf of all Oregonians, recognize, honor, and celebrate the achievements of the University of Oregon football program during the 2010 regular season and the Ducks playing in the BCS National Championship game on January 10th, 2011, and be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution shall be presented to the team as an expression of our esteem, admiration, and continued best wishes for success. Colleagues, the Oregon Ducks had just an incredible season. These young men faced adversity and tremendous pressure head on. They stayed focused, they worked together, they became the epitome of team. They brought us attention, acclaim, and excitement. These ducks made us proud, and we want to make sure they know just how much their hard work, hard work meant to all of Oregonian. Today on the sideline, right now to the north uh, aisle, we have Nate Costa, number seven quarterback, recipient of the most inspirational player award. He was injured against Washington, but still an integral part of this team. In the game against Washington State, he completed 13 of 15 passes for 151 yards and a touchdown. DJ Davis, number 10, wide receiver, received honorable mention from all Pac-10 coaches, co-recipient of the Todd Doxey Award, given to an Oregon teammate for dedication associated with being an outstanding teammate, 13-game starter, team's best downfield blocker and second leading receiver in terms of catches and yards. Max Four, number 64, offensive lineman, as a backup center, played in all three non-conference games, had a career high of 50 snaps against New Mexico. 
And Jordan Holmes, number 54 offensive lineman, team captain, in 2010 was on the watch list for the Remington Trophy awarded to the nation's top center and also a 2010 Sports Illustrated All-American. College, no matter what colors you wear in this state, these green and yellow ducks made us proud and they really did an outstanding job and I'm looking forward to watching next season and watching them go back and do it again and this time coming back champions I think they can do it and uh, I wish them all the best and really appreciate and honored to be able to read this resolution on the floor um, Mr. Speaker and colleagues I really hope we give this an I vote unanimously because they're Oregonians and these gentlemen here from Eugene, I represent the University of Oregon. They are Nancy Nathanson's constituents actually and uh, I know our town was just electrified and I know the whole state was electrified by what this team actually did. You know, they, they hit a lot of diversity head on. A lot of us thought maybe they should have gone around the end on some of this stuff but, you know, they really did a great job, and uh, I urge an I vote, and oh, go Ducks! Thank you very much, Representative.